hello YouTube welcome to another video so in one of my previous videos I showed you how to install a transmission cooler on this RAV4 as you can see here but this time I'm gonna show you how to install an uh, automatic cooling fan so it's gonna kick in when the temperature reaches a certain amount so this is gonna be a very very good addition to an already awesome transmission cooler that we have right here so without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm going to couple the fan with this microcontroller. This is an Arduino Nano. It would be used to compute the temperature of the transmission. And when it reaches a certain temperature, it's gonna order the relay to click on and the fan is gonna turn on just like the regular cooling system of the engine. And every time the transmission is cooled to a certain temperature, the relay is gonna open again and the fan is gonna stop until the transmission reaches a certain temperature again. So I'm gonna go ahead and compare the temperature readings between the two devices and see what's the difference between the actual oil temperature that the scan gauge three is displaying and the temperature that the coolant that we installed is gonna display on this temperature gauge. This way we know how to program the microcontroller. All right, so as you can see on the transmission cooler itself, it shows 71 degrees. So let's check on the scan gauge. And as you can see, we have 72 degrees. All right, so this is gonna be a quick setup just to test and show how the system is gonna work. So we have the fan connected to a 12 volt battery and we have the relay that will be used as a switch and for the relay to close the microcontroller has to read the temperature that we set so as you can see on the screen here is the code A0 will be the pin where the temperature will be read the relay is connected to pin 2 and here is the temperature threshold. I use 95 just so I can test it by touching the temperature sensor. And here is the sensor, by the way. As you can see, this is an LM35 sensor. I will be using longer wires to extend it because I'm trying to keep the microcontroller and the relay away from the fan assembly. So here I have a Celsius conversion if you use that but for those who prefer fahrenheit i have a conversion from celsius to fahrenheit all right and then we're gonna print the temperature this is just for the test this is not necessary once we have it hooked up onto uh, the car and as you can see here this is a if statement and if the temperature in fahrenheit is greater than the threshold that we set right here which is 95 I mean, if it's greater or equal to 95, then the relay is gonna turn on. As you can see, and it's connected to pin two. Let's go ahead and test this. So the body temperature is greater than 95, so I should be able to touch this to turn on the fan. So let's keep an eye on the serial monitor. Here are the temperature readings. Right now the temperature is at 83.6 and relay is off. Let's go ahead and touch it. All right, 94 All right, 98 and as you can see the relay turn on and now the fan is going to cool back the sensor 88 87 85 all right, the temperature went back down to 85 and below, and the relay kicked in 
and shut off the fan again. All right, so the system is working as expected. So we are ready to make a mount for the fan. The microcontroller runs on five volts. So I'm gonna use this module to convert the 12 volts from the car to five volts to power the microcontroller. And then the 12 volts are gonna come straight to the relay and then to the fan. Now I'm gonna design an enclosure to house the three components that I will be securing in the engine bay. going to install the components in this case. solder the wires to the microcontroller. So the relay is already connected to the microcontroller. Next I'm gonna wire the XT60 connectors. Add a parallel connection to the charger module and the 5 volts are gonna go to the microcontroller and it will be good. I accidentally connected it to my 3S battery in reverse polarity and I accidentally burned the chip. Luckily I had another module I will be using that one. Unfortunately I had to remove the output to make it fit the enclosure. The cover is 3D printed. Just like this. Now I'm gonna have to measure how much wire I need. I will cut it and I will solder the temperature sensor onto that and that's gonna be attached to the transmission cooler. So this is gonna power the module as you can see. Then I'm gonna tap 12 volts from the car to connect this wire. I will get another wire ready to connect to the fan. 
here is the setup ready to be installed I have a 12 volt battery powering the module and the 12 volts is going to the fan as you can see here obviously right now it's interrupted because the relay is on the off position and for the relay to kick in and send the 12 volts to the fan this temperature sensor right here needs to read a certain temperature which I'm going to set up right now I have it set up to 90 something degrees just for the test and once the temperature sensor uh, reaches the set temperature it's gonna go ahead and order the relay to close which is gonna send the 12 volt to the fan I also have the module hooked up to the computer so we can monitor the temperature alright so now we're gonna keep an eye on the temperatures and we're gonna apply some heat onto the temperature sensor all right the temperature rises and when it reaches the set temperature the fan is going to kick in and start cooling the transmission and once the transmission cools to the set threshold it's going to go ahead and turn off the relay once again and the fan is going to stop so it's a pretty nice system i think this is going to work really well so yeah let's go ahead and install this onto the car and test it out Alright guys, so the first step is to go ahead and remove the front bumper. Now I have clear access to the transmission cooler that we installed the last time. The video of that will be pinned on the top right if you want to check it out. And everything is looking good. So the cooler has been doing a great job at keeping the temperatures down. It may look odd installing a transmission cooler in the winter, but trust me, New York gets really hot during the summer. So here is the fan, and I'm gonna cut this to size and use this as a mount. I guess I'm gonna have to drill this bar right here so the fan can be right in front of the cooler. So I'm gonna have something like this. So this is about how I want it. So I'm gonna cut this from here and drill a hole for the screw. And then I'm gonna cut another one for the bottom part. So to drill this bar, I think I'm gonna have to remove it. All right, so this is looking good. Next is the other side. Just like this. We are good. So I can go ahead and drill this, I already marked it. I'm going to put this bar back on. I'm going to secure that back. So 
ensure that the screws do not come loose because of the friction I'm gonna add some thread locker I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this down. Make sure everything is secure. The sand is secured to the cooler. Now I'm gonna run the wire into the engine bay. So I have the fan control module hooked up to the computer. And as you can see, we have very low temps. It's very cold out here today. Why don't we go ahead and touch the sensor and increase the temperature. I won't be able to record the screen at the same time but the fan is supposed to kick in let me remove the sensor and I will grab it and there it is we are in business once again my DIY power station came in handy I built this power station about a few months ago I will pin the video on the top right if you want to check it out but this is really really handy as you can see I had a little bit of soldering work to do and uh, everything is coming along pretty well I used some silicone to secure the temperature sensor onto the transmission cooler I think that it's uh, safe it's not gonna come loose because the silicone is rated for 500 degrees this will never reach that so I'm good and then I also use zip ties to secure both the temperature sensor wires and the fan wires all the way here and uh, connect to the fan control module that I still have to program and then I'm gonna have to find a way to run this wire inside the cabin but I'm gonna have to put the front bumper back together alright so the front bumper is back but I didn't realize that it was gonna be this tricky to run the wire from the engine bay into the cabin fortunately I ended up finding a spot right here where I can run the wire through Alright, so after struggling, I was able to run the wire from the engine bay through here behind the glove box and I connected it to one of the 12 volt uh, sockets and I added a 10 amps fuse. So yeah, it looks like we are all set, ready to test this. But first I'm going to put everything back together. This is reading from the computer. And this one is reading from uh, the transmission cooler that we installed. It's not far off, 54 degrees and uh, 51, 48, 49. When the temperature reaches 75 degrees, um, the fan is going to kick in. Uh, this one is uh, higher, it's supposed to be because this one is reading the temperature from the uh, car's computer. So the second we reach 75, it's going to turn on the fan and it's going to cool it back down to uh, 70 as you can see here. Alright, we are close. The fan is not running here. Alright, we reached it and as you can see the fan kicks in and we are cooling back down as you can see. Alright, we went back down to 68 and as you can see the fan stops which is really nice. So as you can see it is working perfectly. Alright. So yeah, obviously these are low numbers. I'm gonna have to crank that up real quick. 
I'm gonna change the code and uh, set it to 160. Running it cooler is better, but you know you don't want to overcool it. So I'm gonna make sure I uh, research the right uh, temperatures, and I would insert that into the code and make sure the car is uh, running perfectly. Yeah, but this is uh, my project, and as you can see, it's working as expected. This guy is turning on and turning off according to the temperature. I can also connect the fan control module to my phone using a cable. Let's say I want to uh, change the code and uh, change at what temperature the fan kicks in and at what temperature it turns back off. I can just go here and I can load the code. And as you can see, this is the code that I can go ahead and compile and upload it onto the module we can also launch the serial monitor and we get the output right here so here we can select the right baud rate which is 9600 and as you can see temperature 101 everything is working perfectly all right here is the fan and as you can see waiting for it all right and it kicked in and it's gonna turn off. Really nice. All right guys, this is gonna be it for this video. So let me know if you have any suggestions. If you think that I could have done anything differently, maybe um, when it comes to the wiring, I don't know if this is uh, the best way to do it, but I can always change it. So I think this is going to work just fine. I have it running down here and uh, so far so good. So yeah, let me know in the comment section what you want to see next, uh, what area I can improve on. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next video.